guys, great news. The time has finally come. For Root, the Underworld Expansion! <laughs> That's right, it finally came, and I'm so excited to unbox this. So let's just <laughs> jump into it. Let's get into it. Let's unbox it. <laughs> Alright guys, so in my Kickstarter package, I also ordered the upgrade kit, so make sure to watch all the way to the end of the video, where I will also unbox the upgrade kit. For now, let's go ahead and unbox the Underworld expansion. I have a knife. It's beautiful. Alright, moment of truth. <gasps> Oh my goodness. Um, I also forgot to mention that I got the Kickstarter exclusive box. So I got these uh, resin clearing markers. So that's just like the molded ones that look so amazing. And uh, we'll look at those here in a second. I got the extra Vagabond pack with all of the little uh, Vagabonds in there. So you have the Pumpkin Vagabond, the Possum Vagabond, the Beaver Vagabond, and they all get their own piece, which I think is just so cool and such a great touch. Um, I got the Exiles and Partisans deck. I, I don't even know if I'm saying that right. It's actually pronounced Partisans. But uh, basically, it just adds some new and interesting cards to the mix. So those are all the bonuses I got. So as you can see now, the regular box will go on all the way just like this now it's just the same size as the uh the other expansion so that's great okay before i get into the actual expansion unboxing let's take a look at some of the kickstarter bonus exclusive stuff that i got so here's a vagabond pack and whenever you pick your specific vagabond not only can you pick which card uh, with the special abilities that you want to be, you can also pick your specific meeple. So in addition to your two regular raccoon meeples that you already have, you get your possum meeple, your badger meeple, your wolf meeple, your owl meeple, your beaver? Almost said squirrel. <laughs> uh, your... What is this? Is this a... I don't know what this is. I think this is one of the new vagabonds and your pumpkin raccoon meeple. Okay, so apparently this one is the new squirrel vagabond, um, the new raccoon vagabond, which they didn't give a meeple for, because I think this, although it has kind of the same shape as the raccoon vagabond, I think this is supposed to be the wolf. So I'm just gonna assume you use your regular vagabond meeple if you wanna play with this guy. And then of course your new owl vagabond. So, uh, yeah, if you want to pause the video and read the special abilities, you can do that. Um, but yeah, let's take a look at the resin clearing markers. All right, here are our resin clearing markers. And the thing I love about uh, the leader games is just everything is packaged so nicely. Like, I will probably never use uh, these boxes again, but yet I feel so bad throwing them away because the artwork is just amazing on them and everything is just packaged so nicely. All right, so here's our mouse clearing marker and it has some nice textured rocks on there and it has the basic resin feel. Here is our fox clearing marker. It has a brick design and looks very nice. Cannot wait to play with these. And here, of course, is our rabbit clearing marker uh, with a fence. So we got fences, bricks, and rocks. <coughs> All right, let's take a look at this new deck. All right, so here is our new deck. Uh, I think it's recommended that you do not combine this with the original deck, but instead play only with this um, due to certain factors that make it rather difficult if you try to combine both decks. Uh, so yeah, I'm just gonna do the same thing I did with Wingspan and flip each card over 
and you can pause it and take a look at each one. There are a few repeats. Now let's get to the actual expansion. All right, here we have our classic learning to play guide. And uh, looks like we got the upgraded Law of Root, which I assume is going to include the new factions, Um, I think, let me see, there we go. Uh, we got our variant setup and our Corvid conspiracy and our underground duchy. So uh, I'm assuming this is going to replace the old law of root. Uh, and that's very nice because we have a new law and that's great. Okay. Yes, I'm so excited for this. Here is our new game board. Uh, I love the artwork. It's, you know, very similar, but also just new and fresh. So. I'll unfold it and uh, let's take a look. All right, here is our lake side of the game board. Uh, got our score tracker down here. Um, you have some little cottages, got our water, got some little boats down there. And uh, yeah, really cool. If you want to pause the video and look in more detail, feel free to do that. Uh, and let's flip it over to the other side. All right, and here is our mountain side. So we got our mountain peaks here. Uh, got some tunnels. Got a little stream flowing through here. Looks like we have a little fort base type thing here. Uh, got a little A-frame there. And uh, even looks like we got some new looking ruins here. So that's really cool. And this is our new bit of player tokens for the moles and the crows. Uh, these tokens over here are used on the mountain map and they're used to cover up uh, pathways. Uh, they're like tunnels and whenever you clear them out you get to use those paths. So that's what these uh, rectangular tokens are. All right and here's the Corvid Conspiracy. I love the purple artwork. Purple is one of my favorite colors. And I'm glad to see that they put it in this board game. You got some little flowers on there. And uh, looks like they have bombs, snares, and all sorts of rebellious goodies. All right, and here is our mole faction player board, the Underground Duchy. Looks like they uh, build citadels and 
I guess they have their own deck of cards. We'll take a look at those in a second. And, uh, yeah, they still have the same, same feel and everything like that. And, uh, really, really cool design. I like these guys. All right, so it looks like these are the different moles in the mole army. You have the squire with different illustrations. That guy has a, like a regular construction hard hat. That's awesome. Uh, we got the nobles and we have the lords. And, uh, yeah, I like how each one has a different illustration for them. And that's really a nice touch. And these are our new gold crown tokens, and they look really nice and shiny. Uh, and these are just more pieces for the mole faction. All right, we also got two new wooden pieces. This is the tower, and this is the raft. So the tower you use on the mountain map, and it, it gives you an extra victory point if you control the clearing where this tower is at the end of your turn. Uh, the raft is another element for the lake map, and it basically lets you travel to any clearing on the water once per turn. I think those are right. Uh, you can go check on those, but anyway, so those are two new wooden tokens for this game. All right, so this is really cool. We got some new black and gold dice that look super nice and really shiny, and those are going to be kind of a nice change from the regular white dice and I really think that was fun that they added that in in this expansion. I just wanted to point out that uh, I realized the new dice will fit in the same slot with the original dice so it, it's like they knew they're gonna do this all along so thank you leader games I appreciate that. All right so these are the mole pieces and uh, they have a little more painting on them than the other characters. These are our moles and they're, they're not my favorite meeple, but they're all right. All right, and here are our crows. And these crows look really nice. I like the purple color. That's going to add a lot of splash to the board. And, uh, yeah, I like their eyes, how they're, how they're, like, looking behind them to make sure no one's following them. I think that's kind of kind of funny. All right, guys, so that's basically it for the actual Underworld expansion itself added so much the the board and the dice i just love those elements added and new meeples are great uh but now if you guys are still watching let's take a look at the upgrade kit all right guys thanks for watching up to this point if you haven't clicked subscribe go ahead and click that subscribe button and uh let's take a look at the root upgrade pack All right, so for those of you who don't know, the upgrade kit is basically just a kit that updates all of your player boards, just in case uh, you got some from the older printing uh, where they needed the, to correct some stuff. So I don't know if I actually did or not. I probably should have checked, but it was actually pretty cheap to get this upgrade kit. So I just went ahead and got it just in case, just to be safe. Okay, so we got yet another updated Law of Root. Uh, which actually might be good to have two of these because if you have a big group playing and people are like, let me see the rule book, let me see the rule book, you can just be like, here you go, son, give around two. You know, it's great. Okay, so here's our upgraded uh, lizard cult uh, player board. I'm not sure if I uh, needed to upgrade it, but I don't know. All right, here is our mechanical marquee upgraded player board. Here's our Vagabond updated player board. Here's our Riverfolk Company updated player board. Here is our Vagabond updated player board. Eerie Dynasty. Our Marquis. And our Woodland Alliance. Okay, so I actually don't think I needed uh, to get that upgrade kit. But uh, I just got it just in case, just to be safe. In case uh, I needed it for some reason. Uh, but I kind of think it's also a good thing since you get those extra player boards in case some doofus spills coffee on his board. And you're like, 
oh no, now that thing's gonna have coffee stains on it forever. I mean, I think even one of my player boards has like a a bent part in it and just, I think it has been spilled on before. So yeah, it's just gonna be nice to have, you know? All right, guys, and that's basically it. I know this video is kind of long, but I figured you guys would want to see all the Kickstarter bonus material and the expansion itself. So if you like this video, drop a like, subscribe, means a lot. And uh, yeah, come back again. I have Tidal Blades Heroes of the Reef Deluxe Edition on the way, hopefully. And um, yeah, new videos every Friday. Uh, come back, check them out. Keep it quirky. Peace out. <laughs>